Welcome back to this special Juneteenth edition of Houston Life. We are joining you from Galveston Island, where we've been taking an in-depth look at the history and the future of the holiday, now federally recognized Juneteenth. 157 years ago, news came that slaves in Texas were free as newly freed slaves looked to restart their lives. Many headed north, leaving Galveston and traveling right into Houston. Yeah, you can travel the route today. It's now called the Emancipation trail, but if current efforts to give the trail an historic designation are not successful, these historic sites along the way could eventually be gone forever. Houston Life's Enrique Ramirez has the story. The Emancipation Trail tells a story, the story of Juneteenth. And like every story, you have to start from the beginning. This story begins in Galveston, Texas at Pier 21. When the colored troops came on shore and Gordon Granger joined them, that was the first place that they stopped to let people know that they were free, and that happened on June 19, 1865. This is Tanya DeBose, and today Tanya is our guide on this 50-mile journey through history. What this trail does is it allows the emancipation stories of the people who were formerly enslaved to be able to tell their stories. What happened? What did they do? What type of contributions did they make to Houston, to Galveston? Along the trail in Galveston, each spot is marked and labeled with a brief description, signifying the importance it played on the trail. Most of these stops are in walking distance in the historic Strand District of Galveston. But it is here at the Juneteenth Legacy Office where you'll spend most of your time. There you will be able to see the absolute equality mural. When you take your phone and you click on that mural, it opens up and tells you stories. Every scene in that mural tells you a story. Other stops include the site at the Union headquarters, the U.S. Customs House, Reedy Chapel, and Ashton Villa. Go and visit those places because they have great stories to tell. The environment is still intact, and you'll get a lot of wealth of knowledge by visiting those areas. Our next stop on the trail, Houston, Texas. Key sites in Houston, you want to go to Emancipation Park because, you know, eight formerly enslaved people who attended Antioch Church in the Fort Ward area literally saved up a month, enough money and bought the first public park in, this, in Texas, and that is Emancipation Park. Emancipation Park is one of many stops on the trail in Houston. These stops feature places African Americans came together to build a community, places like the Nazarene Missionary Baptist Church. They became the meeting houses, they became the schools, um, they became the places where people gathered to find out news and to work together. And from those foundations of the church, they were able to build community. Tanya, here at the Nazarene Missionary Baptist Church, people still come to church here, worship. Absolutely, people still come on Sunday mornings to worship. Many of the people who still go to this church are descendants of the original people who started this church. When the trees blow and the breeze comes, me and my colleagues always say the ancestors are here. Here at College Memorial Park Cemetery. There are so many important people who are buried here, but there are so many regular people. People like the Reverend Henry Jack Gates. He uh, was one of the ones who really got a lot of the churches, schools, and businesses started uh, for African Americans in this, uh, in this area. An area that is slowly disappearing. Unlike Galveston, some Houston sites are not considered historic landmarks and are not protected. So many places along what we consider the Emancipation Trail of where early settlements happen are endangered. And they're endangered because they are landlocked. And so what you see is people who probably can no longer afford to live in these types of communities. And we're still here and we plan to be here. And so come on out and visit any of these sites along the trail. And all of these sites should be preserved, need to be preserved. And that was our photojournalist Enrique Ramirez bringing us that beautiful story um, of, of what you can see with your own eyes. What's really cool, of course, we are on 22nd and the Strand. And I want to show you the historical marker that's right here uh, on the corner. So when you're walking by, I mean, I think many people can you see it right here. And um, take a look of, around you of your surroundings to see these. And the history of Juneteenth and of course the Emancipation Proclamation. Many of us remember hearing about the proclamation signed by President Abraham Lincoln September 22nd, 1862. 
But slaves in Texas did not get that news, of course. Many of them did not know about this newfound freedom until 1865. So next time you're down here in Galveston, 22nd and the Strand, take a look at not only this historical marker, but the beautiful mural, and really take a moment to soak in this incredible story that, again, many of us did not hear the complete picture or hear the complete story growing up in school. Right, and I th think doing the trail and, and downloading the app, you're also going to get some other things that would have been missed. Uh, you know, you get the headline, you understand what the story is, but all of these other uh, historical markers and how the word traveled through the island, of course, you can learn more about the efforts to protect these historic sites and see a map of the complete trail on our website. You can check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website.